someone thinks that you and them have been involved in a very lengthy game of chess, okay? This person feels like you and them have been competing against each other, moving based upon the other, taking losses even as a result of miscalculation. They primarily have taken losses as a result of their miscalculation. But the reason why they keep coming up short on the chessboard is because your ass ain't even playing this game that they think you're playing with them. Okay? You know, it ain't a race. You moving at your own pace. You are not making moves based upon the moves of another. You could care less. And this is why you're winning. And this is what they're not understanding because they really feel like they are in some type of competition with you. That that you and them are at some in some type of competition to see who's more clever, who's more precise, who can think more steps ahead to come out on top. Like, it's all of that, but you ain't even doing none of that, okay? You ain't even invested. So, Holy Spirit, what is it that you would like us to know about this download I received, Holy Spirit? What is it that you want us to know? The insight and guidance that will give us clarity about the situation. Who are we talking about? What's going on here, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. I do hope that you all are doing good at this time. Thank you so much for your continued support of my channel. If you are new, you should already know what to do. But if not, please just go ahead and hit that like button for me. Feel free to share my content. And please, of course, subscribe, okay? So we have the Page of Swords and we have the Queen of Cups followed by the Strength. There is someone who is watching you. They watch every move that you make. 222 two, two is just on the clock. They study you. They try to emulate you. They want to be like you. But it's a struggle for them. Okay? So, I feel like this emulation, this adoration has turned into some sort of competition for them. Because, ooh, these four cards just about fell and hit the table. The tower was sitting right here. It's it. I feel like it's a tower for them because they realize that they can't compete with you. Like, not compete with you. Maybe they feel like they can't compete with you. I don't know. Clarify, child. I don't understand stuff like this. We have the king of wands. This, this person feels like they're in competition with you. I feel like it was a tower for them when they realized that they were not on your level. They were trying to emulate you and be like you, but you the emperor, okay? They a king of wands, but you an emperor, okay? That's what I was getting with this emulation, adoration energy. This person wished they could do it like you, baby, okay? But they realized it was a tower when they realized that they could not be on your level. So for some reason, they have switched from this adoration to competition, okay? They can't figure out what your secret is. So now they're just trying to figure out how they can triumph over you in the future, how they can have a success over you in the future. And I'm talking about this Queen of Cups strength energy. They putting in work, honey. With this Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, they really are making some moves based off of what they think you may do, how you may act, how you may move, what you may invest in, what you may do, what direction you will go in. I mean, it's all of that. That They literally watch you, anticipate what you're going to do with this page of pentacles, and then they act on that. They make moves in their life based upon what they think you are going to do, Emperor, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? 
Mm. We have the Nine of Cups. The reason why this person, why you always caught this person's attention is because whatever you doing, you make your wishes come true, okay? And they want the recipe. They wanted the sauce. You know, I was really getting that through this page of, page of source energy. They really were trying very hard to be like you so that their wishes could come true, so that they could be favored even. That's what I'm getting with this nine of cups. They wanted to be favored like you. And it was, it was a huge blow to this person's self-esteem when they realized that they could not be like you, that they were going to have to give that up, okay? They were going to have to eight of cups this notion that they were on your level or that they could be your doppelganger. I'm hearing, I'm like, I'm talking about this person, if they could have peeled your damn skin off and put that shit on like a fucking tracksuit, that's what the hell they would have did. They would do that now. But I'm telling you, it's like their their mind twisted, something twisted, shifted. And now they think that they're competing with you. Okay? They had to give up trying to be like you. And now they're trying to compete with you. Judgment. They, you know, they had to make a decision. Like, okay, I see me trying to copy this person is not working out in the same way that it's working out for them. So I got to do something different here. Me trying to be like this person has left me in regret. Y'all see how that fell? I'm trying to tell you. Me trying to copy this person hasn't gotten me the, the foundation that they have. It hasn't made me as abundant as they are. If anything, it's got me caught up in some type of sordid karmic cycle. Because this person is giving obsessed, okay? You know, they go from trying to be your doppelganger, your copycat, to trying to compete with you. They're obsessed with you. And I'm telling you, in their mind, they really feel like y'all got some type of back and forth chess game going here. It's like when I move, you move type vibe. And you aren't even paying attention to this person. Can I get some more insight on this emperor? I really do not feel like you know who this queen of cups, king of wands is. Like you don't know this person personally. Let's see what this was. Child, the two of cups and flew out here in reverse. You don't even know this energy who is watching you and competing with you at a distance. Like you don't even know them. Okay, that's why it's giving even more stalkerish, obsessive type damn energy that I'm getting because I'm kind of cringing like, ugh. Okay, like who is this? Because this person is, is truly feeling like, you know, it's really giving single white female. Ace of Wands. This person may be attracted to you, like in an intimate way. Anything that they invest and do, they're hoping that it will still help them achieve a life like yours, a, a beginning like you had, something that will eventually lead them down the same path that you are going in, okay? Okay. It's really, I'm hearing anything that you can do, I can do better. That's what they think. That's that's where they at now in their mind. This person is trying to one up you now. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. Hmm. It's kind of sad. We have the Six of Cups. Hmm. You don't have a you don't know this person. You don't have a relationship with this person. But I'm telling you, this person feel like you some long lost friend of theirs. I'm telling you, this this thing is this is really giving like single white female for real, y'all that movie. Okay? 
Because whoever this is, you don't know this person. You have no type of relationship with them at all. But whoever they are, they have been watching you. They have been obsessing over you. They were even trying to emulate you, be exactly like you, but they could not be your carbon copy with this king of wands to this emperor. So now in their mind, oh, well, I'm competing with this person. You know, if I see them do something or post something or wear something or say something, I'm going to do it even better. Okay? I'm going to do it like them, but I'm going to do it even better. I'm going to one-up them on the board. They make a move. I'm going to make a move that's going to put them three steps behind me. But in, in also in this person's mind, they wish they could have some type of connection with you. They feel like y'all are some long lost friends or some shit. Okay. You know, it's really giving that. That's why y'all just need to be careful that you can't help if somebody being obsessed with you or you don't even know who the fuck they is. But, you know, just be careful who you be clicking up with, with this five of wands. Because this person is aimed at bringing some type of drama to whoever this emperor is. Whoever this emperor king of pentacles is, this person is is wanting to have issues with them. But at the same time, they want to be cool with them. They want to be like them. They're very conflicted. It's a lot of internal conflict going on in this king of wands, queen of king of wands, king queen of cups head. Okay? But in their mind, this is how they, they think they coming off to the world. They think they showing up to the world like you still in this competitive energy they're in now. Okay. When they were trying to emulate you, they could only come out as a king of wands. Now this person is trying to emulate and emulate you, but compete with you simultaneously and they feel like, they truly feel like, 1221, that they appear to the world as a nine of pentacles, but they actually look like a five of pentacles. This person got some issues, y'all, some mental health issues. I'm just keeping it real. They have switched up three different times in this reading, and we ain't even 13 minutes in this reading. All about somebody that they don't even have a connection with. But in their mind, they really do feel like you and them have some type of kismet connection here. But, at, like, again, their mind is really fragmented. Defragmented, okay? Because, again, they still want to stop your success. They still feel like they're competing with you somehow and they can knock you off the board. At the same time, they didn't went from wanting to be like you, because I know I'm repeating myself, it's, it comes from being a teacher, a former teacher, because I picked up that somebody thinks that I'm still a teacher and have been, has been like trying to figure out where I teach at. Stop, you can just chill with that. I ain't no teacher no more, okay? I wouldn't be doing this probably if I was still teaching anybody children. I'm just going to keep it real with you. So, I don't know why I said that. Maybe this person is a teacher. Maybe this person works with kids somehow. Maybe you work with kids somehow. I don't know. It's something here. This person be trying to copy you. They try to copy you. Then when they can't copy you, they feel like they, they secretly competing with you. And then in their mind again, they want to be your friend or they feel like y'all should be friends. But then they want to stop your success. Like they flip-flop back and forth. Whoever this is, okay? Whoever this is, you know, I just keep hearing that movie. The name of that movie. I really feel like this person is kind of like attracted to you, obsessed with you. Would like to even be intimate with you. Like whoever this is, they got a lot of feelings swirling around in that brain about you. And that is what is fueling this night of source action that they're taking and what's even more <laughs> wild about this is you don't even know this shit going on you don't know who this is you ain't 
showing up competing with this person at work every day or no shit like that. This ain't nobody that you run into every day and you wear one hairstyle one day, then the next day when you see them, they got your hairstyle. But that's what this person is doing. 1515. Okay. So I don't know how they're viewing you. I don't know how they came across you. But you do not have a direct relationship with this person. How does this Queen of Cups, King of Wands, know this Emperor, King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. How, how did they become aware of this Emperor energy? The Emperor still flew out here. Hmm. You know, I'm picking up on uh, like a lesbian situation here. I'm picking up on a feminine who is very dominant. Okay. But you had a female counterpart of some kind who put you on, who put this Queen of Cups onto you. Okay, I definitely am picking up on two women. That this is a woman doing this to another woman, and there was a third woman who you ended something with that you have a lot of history with who told this Queen of Cups, King of Wands, about you. Okay, this is how they became aware of you and obsessed with you. I don't know what this empress was saying about you, but she really got in this person's head. Whatever they said about you, it really had a very massive effect on this stalker that you have. Because they can't think straight. They unable to make a clear, concise decision about their feelings. This person is all over the place. They don't know if they want to love you or hate you. And I just, you know, I don't know what this empress said about you, but it really triggered this person to want to be like you, then hate you, then can try to compete with you, then want to be your friend, then want to be your lover, then want to try to cause enemies in your life. So, you know, they all over the place, okay? And the, ho ooh, the Holy Spirit says that's true, nah. So I don't know who this is, but they definitely became aware of you because of an empress that you used to talk to that you ended things with and i don't feel like it ended in a bad way but i do feel like this empress probably said to this queen of cups that they wish they would have queen of swords that came out here that they wish they would have handled things better that they wish things would not have ended the way that they did between you and them and this possibly sparked this queen of cups interests even more because this empress told some some truth about you and it made you really pop out to this person okay what's gonna be the outcome of this holy spirit please and thank you i feel like this is just gonna eventually subside possibly this queen of cups will be exposed for what she trying to do she may have leo in her chart because she did come out as this queen of cups strength and I feel like it's going to be illuminated. Her her obsession with you is going to be illuminated. Possibly to this Empress Queen of Swords. Okay? Like some something is going to happen where this Empress is going to realize that she started up some shit. <laughs> trying to get some stuff off her chest about you. Because I'm really getting that. Like, this empress has even possibly said that they wish they could have a rebirth with you. Okay? They really made you look good. You know, whatever they said, it spoke to who you are, your character. This is why this person became fixated on you. But I feel like something is going to be revealed about their obsession I don't even know if you will even hear about it. I don't feel like this person is going to actually approach you, but they do obsess over you. They do got some type of shit going on about you in their brain. And I do feel like it's going to come out. Okay? 
Any final messages, Holy Spirit? We have the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. For some reason, I feel like you and this Empress may reconnect. And this is when it's going to be illuminated how their friend feels about you. Because they may learn that you're going to start giving to and receiving from this Empress again. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. That's when it's going to come out. Because she's going to be like, oh, look what came out here, y'all. <laughs> Page of Wands. This, this Empress going to be like, oh, me and the, this Emperor and got back together. Da, 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 da. To this Queen of Cups. Communicating this good news with this page of wands, and that person gonna lose their damn shit. King of Swords, they're gonna be upset and really be feeling some type of way about this emperor because they really it's like in their mind, oh, they don't want me because they're back with this empress. Like it's really some type of Some type of therapy is needed for this person. It is. Because they really got some type of sordid belief in their head about the relationship and the dynamic between you and them. Okay? And I feel like it's only going to be revealed when this empress communicates that you and them have reconnected. And have started giving to and receiving from each other again. Okay? So I'm going to leave it here because this King of Swords energy also is just giving, you know, therapists like some type of counsel is going to have to come in and console and guide this Queen of Cups strength energy because they have gotten so fixated and like their mind is really twisted about you, whoever you are. So I don't know, but that's why you got to be careful who you be talking to your business about because this empress is who did it child whatever she was saying about you that shit really made you look like a star in this queen of cups strength's eyes okay and it just went from there child so i'm gonna leave it here i hope this message helps someone i hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward but always remember y'all if it doesn't apply please let it fly take only what resonates Leave the rest, and I will be back soon with another one. Peace.